protein is it required to build muscle so we start working out and all we hear is protein this protein that every fitness person is saying to lift weights and eat protein but is this the true solution today's video i'm going to break it down into phases so you can clearly understand is it lifting heavier is it eating more protein now before i go on guys give the video a like the first phase is that we need to assess where you are. So a couple members come to mind where I had to get them to send me their day one belly burn photo versus where they are today, which is anywhere from six to 12 months later. So they think that they aren't making any progress because when they jumped on the scale, it's not really moving. So then we assess their overall physique. So I say, take your day one photo, and put it in a side by side to your now photo, like literally today, and let's start to assess the physique and we'll be able to see changes. Like when you do this and you started with this and then all of a sudden you got that, we're gonna be able to see, holy crap, I've packed on a lot of muscle and I've dropped a lot of fat, but I might have not lost any weight. So when we're assessing where you are, here's a couple methods. You can use an in-body scale to determine how much muscle you actually have. Uh, recently, I was having a discussion with a client and she said she went and did one of these very expensive scans, which is, would buy you three of these scales. And she said that the numbers are pretty spot on. Now, I would say that those measurement tools are probably a little bit better. They're gonna be able to tell you where fat is a little bit more distributed, et cetera, et cetera. But as an overall picture, the Omron scales that we use at the gym should be good enough to determine where you are with the amount of muscle that you have. Another thing that I would tell you is that you need to start taking progress photos. When I do my belly burns, I never want anybody to look sad and slumped over because these photos are not just comparing 28 days. Like I wanna compare this flex photo day one compared to your flex photo at day 1000. And this way we can actually showcase the differences and muscle gains that you've created over the course of time. Now, when you put on your clothes, you might have some jeans or you might have a shirt or a dress that you've owned for a very long time. How is that dress or how are those jeans fitting you? A client that comes to mind is Dana. So Dana has this yellow dress that she sent me a photo after six months of doing belly burns with me. And that dress was a complete blanket on her. She still owns that dress and we still use it as a measuring tool. Another client, Erica, uses this waist trimmer. And so with this waist trimmer, the, the waist trimmer started like way up here because she couldn't get it down below her hips. Now she has this waist trimmer and it's like, she can just take it right off. And she didn't lose like, like a ton of weight. Like she lost 30 pounds over the course of two years and over a thousand workouts. But to a lot of people, 30 pounds in two years isn't enough. But the overall shape of Erica is completely changing now. She's a lot more fitter and everything is getting a lot more compact and compressed and tight and right. And so clothes or these waist trimmers are another great measuring tool that you can use so you can determine whether you're being successful or not. And the last thing I would do is I would get you to challenge yourself in fitness. One of our clients, Corey, is probably the leanest guy at Fit Club right now. Like this guy is a beast, okay? He follows every nutrition thing that I send to him. He's consistent, two workouts, he lives the lifestyle. You know, his cheat days, oh man, I had one, one extra rice cake. Like this guy's an animal. Like he's way better on his nutrition than I am. And the guy is ultra lean and you should see the progress. Maybe Jerome could put a before and after of Corey in here and you'll see the progress that this guy's made over two years. It's unbelievable. And so one of the challenges now that Corey has basically achieved every physique goal that any guy would want to achieve, we need to start challenging his fitness. And so for me, I challenged my fitness. So all the work that I do at Fit Club, I really went hardcore with tennis over the past 18 months. You guys might have seen in one of my previous posts that I won this championship. It's just a beer league, fun friend league. But still, I went from zero to number one in the less than 12 months. And so for Corey, we're actually challenging him to do one of the most ultimate races that there are in existence on this entire planet, which is a Spartan race. So that there could be a new staple for him, 
where he continuously does one of these assessment or fitness challenges every year. And what do we do? We work on keeping his physique, but we also work on his conditioning. And that's a way that this guy's gonna be able to track his 1% better every single day. So in phase one of, is it protein that's required or lifting heavier weights to determine whether or not you're successful in putting on muscle? Well, I've just gave you other reasons that are gonna help you to determine whether you've been successful in the past little while. And so my recommendation is that you start them today. Now, before you go guys, make sure you give the video a like. In the next video, I'm gonna give you phase two of what real life expectations of putting on muscle and dropping fat are. But make sure you give the video a like. Go to our website, www.fitclub.fit. Mention the belly burn and we'll get you started today.